Today I am going to show you my DIY 1600 lumen light system for caving. All the components together cost less than $90, which is quite a bit less than most commercial systems. This is what the system looks like mounted to my Petzl Elios helmet. The light is mounted to the helmet using a GoPro system, so removing the light from the helmet is pretty fast and easy. All in all, it took me less than one hour to put it all together, which isn't too bad. You'll need the following tools for this project. A Dremel, soldering iron, Phillips screwdriver, a pair of scissors, fine grit sandpaper, and a small rag. For this project, I am using a 4 LED trail bike light. It is sold under a few brand names including Magic Shine MJ872 and Revtronic BT40S. I actually did a YouTube product review on the BT40S if you want to check it out. This light puts out a neutral white light and has four power settings from 480 lumen to 1600 lumen. You can use other trail bike lights and basically follow the same procedure. Just make sure the connectors on the light and the battery match. To power the light you need a two cell battery pack which is lighter than the four cell pack that comes with the light. The Magic Shine MJ6092 sells on Amazon for only $24 and uses high quality LG battery cells. The pack is rated for 2600 milliamp hour. There are other generic battery packs available but the quality of those cells are not very good. The other low cost components that you'll need are a GoPro extension arm, a GoPro adhesive mount, adhesive cable clips, an M4 by 0.70 screw, 16 millimeter in length, and 3M dual lock fastening strips. Most of these items you can either buy on Amazon or at your local hardware store. First you'll use the Phillips head screwdriver to remove the handlebar mount from the light. Using the Dremel, remove one of the tabs off the GoPro extension arm. After cutting off the tab, insert it between the remaining two tabs to eliminate the open space. Use the soldering iron to melt the channel in the arm for the cable. Next, use the screwdriver to mount the modified extension arm to the light using the M4 screw. The next step is to attach the GoPro adhesive mount to the front center of the light. Now you can mount the light, which looks pretty good. The next step we need to modify the Magic Shine battery. We need to modify the back of it so the 3M dual lock strips will stick to it. Remove the rubber tabs on the back along with a decal. Then use the fine grit sandpaper to rough it up the surface. After sanding, wipe the back of the battery case off with a small rag to get rid of the loose particles. Using the scissors, cut a piece of the dual lock material and apply it to the back of the battery. You then cut another piece of the dual lock material and apply it to the back of the helmet. The last step is to apply the adhesive cable clips onto the helmet to manage the cables. On my helmet, I used four clips which seems enough to hold the cables in place and out of the way from getting snagged. That's about it. A pretty easy system to put together. What I really like is the inexpensive Magic Shine batteries that are lightweight and waterproof. Thanks for watching the video.
Happy caving.